pierced a hundred times over by the razor-sharp needles of a small saguaro. What? What? Come on. Cacti calamities, bedtime bad luck, and MRI misfortunes? Today we're back at it, breaking down all of the wild medical scenes and insane ways people supposedly kick the bucket in a thousand ways to die. Here to help me react to this is my favorite human on the planet, my wife Jen, who used to be an actress on this show. Let's dive right in. It's New Year's morning, 1986. And this hot babe is wondering what the hell happened the night before. Oh, jeez. Say hello to Don. I don't know what is going on with this guy. He had a party. A party. It must have been some party he threw. He wound up bedding down two hotties in his classic 80s waterbed. Oh, my gosh, a waterbed. Oh, my gosh. My okay. mom had a waterbed. My brother had a waterbed. <laughs> Lumbar support? Not there. No, like, always moving? No, thanks. But Don was not digging his ah. start to the new year. Uh-oh. Gonna pop it. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh. He was under house arrest and his panties were getting wet. As the person out of the two who has worn stilettos in my life, you could kick those off so quickly right. or use them for a weapon. Are the feet attached? It Move looks it like up. they're attached by pantyhose. Ah. But the more he struggled, the more holes he dug with his stilettos. Okay. Obviously, they always tell you don't struggle when you're in these situations because you're going to make it worse. Breathing, your respiratory rate's going to go up, all that stuff. It's going to drown. Is he going to own... drown? What? What? Okay, first of all, there was like one foot not even of I water. I mean, you could. If you pass out in like a bowl of water, you know, you could potentially drown if you don't move out of the way. Weird way to go for sure. Is it likely? It's a weird mechanism, but I can foresee this happening. You might be inhaling the water, swallow it, choke on it, cough it into your lungs, slowly drown. That is awful. That's awful. Some people collect coins, others stamps. These two loners have taken their empty lives and filled them up with cactus. We live in Southern California. There are a ton of Joshua tree, cacti. I imagine a lot of people come into the emergency department yeah, well, little, all pricked up. Little, <laughs> little splinters, nothing big. In Arizona, saguaro are a protected plant species. In their tripped out minds, they experience a rare phenomenon. A shared hallucination. What? Oh. These guys were hallucinating from the cacti fermented booze, I'm assuming. Oh. You have done wrong. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you will pay for your sins. Come on. Come on. We'll see people get cactus like juice in the eye. It's we'll actually like a fruit. I've eaten cactus before. It's actually quite tasty. You can do cactus tacos. This was too much for the freaks. The guilt ridden spinal tappers <gasps> lit out. The first wound up run through by an agave plant. The other met a similarly gruesome fate pierced a hundred times over by the razor sharp needles of a small saguaro. What? What? Come on. Come on. You don't believe that this would have caused both there's of them to be kick the bucket? Yeah, I think there's gotta be something else. Maybe they OD'd on the juice. Could you impale yourself with very sharp object? Yes, obviously. Could you have a ton of small wounds that all add up to something pretty big and cause detrimental effects? Yes, but come on. Come on! Brooke was a shiny, good-looking, elitist snob who played a rich boy college so sport, cute. lacrosse. Lacrosse, I grew up in New York. Northeast, lacrosse is a big thing. I played it. I mean, I played it. Fun fact about Jordan, he uses a lacrosse ball sometimes for his back. Good for like muscle aches and like if you want to massage it out, put it against the wall, that way you don't have to ask your wife to massage you all the time. He loved to beat up those less fortunate than himself. Douchebag. Uh. Brooke was at his bully best when trying to impress a couple of cute co-edibles. <laughs> co-edibles, okay. okay. Nerds! Oh, that's totally messed up. What? Oh. What the heck? Stop it, you jerk. A lacrosse ball, things going fast, can't hurt like heck. When the hottest babe on campus goes by, keep your eye on the ball. Oh, no. oh he's gonna get it. Oh. 
Oh, right in the epigastric area. I thought something was gonna happen. I thought to she was the girl. gonna get hit in the head <laughs> and get like knocked unconscious. It reminded me of this music video that I once shot with Lil Wayne, where I was his bully in high school, basically wearing a very similar outfit with my mean girl posse. Ricocheting off the wall at over 90 miles an hour, the solid rubber lacrosse ball Ooh. hit his chest at the perfect time in the perfect place, oh. triggering a reaction <gasps> called commotio cortis. Ah, that actually recently happened to a professional football player. It'll stop your heart, no? Correct, there's different things that can happen. Not a heart attack, but you're going to cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest! So if you do see this, obviously, call 911. Check to see if the person has a pulse. Start CPR. Chelsea was working late at the urgent care center. Some uh, nursing schools still make you wear the little hair thing. What? What is that? Historical, maybe. It reminds me of the Snooky bump. Remember bump it? Uh huh. But tonight, Ooh. she wasn't alone. Ooh. Hello? Someone there? Just relax. I know what you want. Just, just put the gun down. What you want? What the heck? Don't know, distressed patient, scared with a gun, and maybe she's trying to cause some distraction. I don't know about you in your work, but you want to go in comfy to right, the Right, were doctors. those like lace and stuff? Unless like, she had a date after work, homegirl like, is not wearing that What? To Come on. Come on! Chelsea's combat training kicked in. She hit the on button. So at the MRI, assuming that the metal of the gun is gonna be sucked into the MRI machine. Do you think he would go with it? Let's go, yeah. Oh. How close would he have to be to the machine? What part of it is magnetic? Is it the inner well, the donut? Whole, the whole thing inside. I'm not an MRI tech or engineer, so I'm not 100% sure. I go by the rules that they tell me to go by. These are my machines! Oh. But then something happened. He's got a pacemaker or something? Oh no. <gasps> Flying through the air like Superman right into the MRI machine. It must have caused either a trauma, bleed to the brain, cervical fracture because of the mechanism of hitting. Turns out our <laughs> was damaged goods. He had a steel plate in his head. Oh! Too doped up to resist. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Wow. I have a thought. Would they use metal that's that magnetic? Great question. If you Google metals that could go in an MRI machine, there are metals that are not magnetic. The MRI drew him into its magnetic field and he went from bad guy to dead guy. But the question ends up being, if the plate is fused to the bone, could it rip out of the skin versus take his whole body with him? MRI techs out there, let me know in the comments. This was quite entertaining, a little bit off. I don't know. I feel think. like out of all the thousand ways to die that we've reacted to, I feel like these were the least Likely. Likely to kick the bucket. Also, big new things on the horizon. Check out my brand new supplement company, Life Happens. If you guys enjoyed this, definitely check out lots of playlists. And as always, make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching. And stay healthy, my friends.